Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Auto Tech TV for another Lumber Tycoon 2 video on Roblox. We are going to go ahead and get started right away on building this roof. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is zoom back out so we can move. We got press E to check, then we left click for move, and just like that, we're going to place it. <clears throat> when we get to where that floor piece is acting as a temporary wall, we will go ahead and go in there, move it, and place our blueprints down for our wall. Let's go ahead and check, move. Let's see here, what's this? Huh, kind of weird. Is that from, um, from us earlier? Maybe, huh. <clears throat> Let's see. in here no check move oh I guess it helps if presents are out of the way too huh move come on we're gonna try to sneak it back under here maybe we can do it by zooming out Looking through and aiming. Come on. Yep, come on. Come on. Squeeze it right into place. Come on. <clears throat> I mean, we knew this was going to be difficult. We were just hoping not quite so difficult. Put this one back into place. Let's go ahead and turn this one the right way. There we go. Guess we're stuck moving the walls for now. And one more. Go ahead and grab our floor piece. What is going on? Can't be that that wall piece right there, is it? Missed that one just a little bit. Go ahead and move it back out again. Come on. Sometimes it's all about finding just the right camera angle here to get it to place where you want it. We're going to go ahead and grab this wall piece. 
Let's see if maybe it is getting in our way here a little bit. It gets partially in the doorway there, doesn't it? Come on. Wow. Just fit right. What's going on? Hmm. <clears throat> All because of exploits. Let's try it this way. It fits everywhere, but right in there. Why? Oh, why, oh, why? Almost, see, come on, drop down. Drop down. No. Doesn't seem to matter what we do, it does not want to go in there where it came from. It's just a little piece of floor in the way. Let's check. Some sort of invisible barrier here, I don't see. What's what's going on here? Hmm. Right in the spot there. Come on. Same deal, just it stops. It won't move forward. It's like it's I liked it there, didn't it? Hmm. So let's go ahead and put this wall here. It's supposed to be building our roof and now we're working on the wall. Story of my life. And get that 
random cards. And last three. We'll snatch this one up. And put it in the place. Now we're gonna do the same here. Grab this guy up. This is hilarious. You saw that, right? I can get it perfectly to the other corner, not a problem, but it just does not want to place there. So let's place it back over here. We'll walk over, grab the little one, move. Come on, what is it? <clears throat> see here. <clears throat> we need to move this way. This one, move, rotate, rotate, rotate. And grab this one. And we'll put this one into place. Oh, this one's facing the wrong way, isn't it? Move and turn, turn. Is that right? That looks better. All right, we'll grab this. And we'll move this wall over here. Windy out there tonight. There we go. And we'll grab this little floor piece here. Or not? Let's try that again. No? Is that off? Oh. There it is. Move. Structure. Come on. Come on. Maybe we'll just make this my not so secret secret hole of eyeballs. We'll just leave it there. Nobody will ever know. Right? What do you guys think? Oh, come on. Let's put it here. Move. Can move it everywhere but inside there. What's going on? Can't lay any blueprint in, I wonder. Is there something under the map there? Let's turn the Xbox controller on. I'm not sure how to do that shift lock stuff. I, I don't understand it. So let's go ahead and take a peek under the map right where I'm at. Oh, there is, isn't there? There's all kinds of stuff under here. Hmm. Could I pick, oh, there it is.
it must be just ever so slightly in the right place there that it will like that piece there there we go come on i know you're there yeah that's what i thought 30 percent I throw this in there, will it eat it? Hopefully it did. All right, let's go ahead and move this piece. And there it is. Basic hatchet. And we are just going to say goodbye. Goodbye, hatchet. I bet it'll fit there now, won't it? Wow. All right, let's move the wall. Let's see if we can get this floor, yep, in there. What was that? Oh. Well, that was weird. Okay, floor is back in place. Let's go ahead and turn this controller back off for now. Off, 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 off. There we go. Switch back over to our mouse so that we can place these walls and everything are much easier. No? No, no. What happened? We want to use... What is going on here? What is going on here? There we go. All right, let's turn it back off one more time. Off, 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 off. Thank you. And check, move, rotate. And almost place. And let's see here, check, move, rotate, place, all right. And that's a smooth wall, I can't steal from there. Those smooth walls. So we'll have to go into our blueprints and walls. We're looking for the corrugated wall was the exterior wall in this build. And we're gonna have to build a new panel here here and another panel right here. All right, go ahead and close those out. Now we can go back over here, grab our wedges, uh, turn, turn, rotate, rotate. And then we can finish putting our roof pieces on just like so. bottom layer finished we're gonna take this light down not sure what I'm gonna do with all these lights they don't seem to really work is there any lights in the game that do any suggestions from anybody let's see here move that and we got this one and then one more for this row go and next we will get you know and with that last base attack we just had the roof really wouldn't have mattered would it because the way the base drop works is 
let's say I've got all of this here. What I can do is I can take this and somebody's already got their plot loaded over there and I can load my base, this base, right on top of theirs. Whitelist them. And then when they leave or reload or it saves or whatever, however that process, saving process works for the transfer of ownership when that happens, um, everything that's on mine is instantly becomes theirs. Uh, I believe I still get to keep mine as well, but it destroys by putting everything over the top. They got to find a way to sort it out. You saw how it worked, you know, especially with those walls. So everything's prior existing. So if the pile of axes is inside my base on their property, then roof or not, it's going to be in the base. Now where it definitely would have helped was when we started blowing it up with the TNT and it started backfilling into the house when it blew backwards. That would have made a bit of a difference. Uh, it is kind of one of my deciding factors for working on the roof tonight because I, I really want to be in a public lobby. I really want people to be able to see and interact with us and see the, in a positive way and see the, the incredible work that we put into these bases. There we go. I mean, the, the private world I'm in is open to everybody, anybody on the friends list at least. So in that sense, people can still come in and visit us and that's fine. And we try to keep exploiters off that list. That way we don't have to worry about them coming in and causing a bunch of havoc. So let's see if I can get this one lined up here. Come on. There we go. And then grab the next one there and get the second row finished. Just like that. Awesome. Now we're going to move up to that third row. <clears throat> I will say I'm always trying to think of ideas. One of the ideas I had that I had thought of attempting was getting one of these um, script injectors like Synapse X or, and all these other things that people are using to do these exploits with and getting one of the scripts so that way I can base drop. Now. Again, this is only a hypothetical idea. This isn't something I'm going to do. It's not something I've tried. But here's the logic behind it. It wouldn't be for a malicious purpose. It wouldn't be to hurt anybody. It wouldn't be able to give anybody, to give anybody a bunch of freebie stuff or spawn things or um, color things or anything like that. The whole purpose behind doing it would be strictly to create a second account, which yes, I know, that I believe that violates the terms of service but I would create a second account and I would use the software or hack or exploit or whatever you want to call it. I would use it to drop my base on my new account. Oops. And have it as, why do I keep doing that? And have it as a backup copy. So let's say we're in here playing and somebody base drops again. Well, then I can just clear the slot. No big deal. I'll clear the slot and leave the game, go in, base drop from the other account back to, you know, my main account. And it's like it never happened. We didn't lose anything. We can keep playing in public lobbies without the hours and hours of heartache of, of cleaning up the mess from somebody who's trying to destroy the game for others. And again, I'll say this one last time as a disclaimer, is this is just a hypothetical idea. I don't know if it would even work. I'm not going to try it because the moment that I had something like that, people would probably start saying, oh, well, he just uses exploits to build that base or he painted all that wood or, you know, he's spawning it or teleporting it. And I don't want that. I like the fact that um, everything that I've obtained to build this base has been uh, through the experience of going to get it myself in the game. The one thing that I don't have on the base I'm disappointed from is I don't have any yellow wood. None. I have no yellow wood. Not the fact that it's not laying back here. All right, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. There's, there's no decoration. 
I've got spook, if you haven't noticed it. I've got the spook wood that is traveled around the bottom here for the um, trim of the house. And then I have the sinister. Let's see here. I have the sinister on that door over there. And of course I have the cave crawler over there as well. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Do, 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 Sorry about that. Where was I? I don't even remember. There we go. Got this third row just about finished. All right, one more. And it looks like we have just enough pieces to start on the fourth level a little bit there. Come on, Oop, come on, there we go, right there. So we'll get those into place. Yep, there we go. And one left. <sighs> and that's all the pieces from our previous episode. Off camera, I am probably going to go ahead and uh, make a few more pieces, or a few more blueprints to prepare um, for another video. Let's see. We'll see, but at least we got a good start onto the roof on the side here. Just got some more work to do. And then of course, extending everything together here. Yep, look at that. Lots of different ideas and things to do. Like, again, this has got to all interact and intertwine somehow. I have ideas. I have ideas. I'm thinking about extending the back of the house out over here. I kind of like the way it's got the shape though, but I've thought about making this squared off. Uh, into more of an L shape for the house. Why don't you go ahead and stop right there. Leave a comment down below. Let me know right now. Should I go ahead and extend this wall out to the back or should I leave it like this and finish closing off the roof and then use this real estate here for another project later like our, um, as part of our automated sawmill that we're gonna be making here soon. Let me know, leave that comment down there below. While you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button just below here. And then over here, you're going to go ahead and hit that bell notification button. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you see our new content as we're able to upload it. That way you don't miss out on anything that may occur. Hopefully nothing as exciting as base dropping because that's, that's enough excitement for a whole year for me. I don't know about you guys, but that is a lot of excitement. I think we're going to take a venture up to the swamp soon too. Really wanting to go get some uh, wood from the swamp to work on our yard a little bit. And then I want to do something um, with the river as well. I got some ideas. Little Miss Tiger gave me a few ideas uh, a while back on how to decorate 
a little bit more and I really want to take her idea and see where I can go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. I have some ideas. We'll go over that in a, in a future video. So thank you again for joining us. It looks like that's all the time we have today. I appreciate you being here at AutoTech TV with myself, watching these Lumber Tycoon episodes. If there's anything you'd like to see done in these episodes, any secrets in the game or tricks in the game that you're really looking to uh, see how we'll get to it or how we'll find it, we'll go ahead and uh, leave that down there and we'll take a look at it. I know some people are worried, of, are not worried, but wondering about the pink wood. The only pink wood in the game is over there and it cannot be gotten. I would pay Defaultio $100 to make that glitch work again. I really would. Because it was such a cool way to bring something different into the game, even if it was unattended. And maybe I'm wrong. You know what? I could be wrong. I started playing around the time that Pinkwood was taken out of the game. So, I mean, maybe it wasn't actually done there. But everything I saw in the patch notes involved and, and all the rumors I'd heard involves uh, TNT and that sign over there, and then processing uh, that wood that came down through a sawmill, which made it yours, and then you could you know, obviously change the shape and then build with it. So that would be, um, that'd be awesome to have that back. It really would be. I had pink wood, I had bought it from a seller, I had it for one day, and then boom, he took it from the game. The next morning I logged on, he did the update, it was gone. <laughs> All gone, I had big plans for it too, so. All right, guys. Again, thank you very much. Make sure you uh, keep washing your hands, stay clean, practice your social distancing six feet away from people if you're out in public. And until then, stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Good night.